And now from typical winter driving tips to snowmobile driving. Uh, we actually are going to be joined by our friends from the Snowmobile Safety Association. It is International Snowmobile Safety Week. My name is Kasha Badurka. Good morning on this Thursday. It is chilly here in southern Ontario. Closer to the city of Toronto, temperatures are sitting at about minus nine. Not so bad. A little bit chillier with the winds. But up here, not too far from Barrie, we're in Snow Valley. It really is Snow Valley. Uh, it's at, we're, we're at minus 18, but the good news is we're not looking at a wind chill factor, but uh, I'm a little chilly, I gotta say. Uh, temperatures are actually going to be warming up throughout the day because of a warm front and with more on that. To you inside, Nicole. Thanks, Kasha, and yes, seven. Let's head to Ontario now where we find Kasha Badurka in the north in the city of Barrie. Yeah, Nicole. Well, we're just actually a little bit north of the city of Barrie. We are in Snow Valley, and it really, this is quite the Snow Valley. We're going to be hitting these trails behind us here, going for a little bit of a rip with the Snowmobiles Association. So it is actually the Ontario Snowmobile uh, Association of Ontario. We're going to be joined by them. We're going to be going for a ride because it's International Snowmobile Safety Week. Uh, so, of course, for anybody who does enjoy this sport, you know, we'll be just providing some reminders, the things to be mindful of this year. Meanwhile, temperatures, of course, much chillier to the north. It's 17 minus 17 degrees up here. Meanwhile, in the city of Toronto, it's minus 7, but it feels closer to minus 10. All right. Thanks so much, Kasha. And for Kasha Badurka joining us mm -hmm. right now near the Barrie area, the sun will come out to play soon enough, but no snow. <laughs> No snow in the forecast, but plenty of snow on the ground here in Snow Valley, just north of Barrie, where temperatures are sitting at about minus 13. It's a chilly one. Closer to the city of Toronto, by the way, minus 7. So we're talking about snowmobile safety today. We've got Lisa Stackhouse of the Ontario Federation of Snowmobile Clubs joining us with her pink helmet. What is it about snowmobiling that you love so much? What's well, not to love? It's invigorating, it's empowering, and it's one of the best ways to experience winter in Ontario. I love it. We're going to be talking about safety and your forecast coming up right across the country don't go anywhere let's talk now to Kasha Badurka who's having fun out there uh, just around the Barrie region I know you're <laughs> going to be teaching us all about the fun of snowmobiling that's right and in a very interactive way Nicole we will be going out for a rip on one of these sleds later on throughout the show is that the expression we would use okay it is actually International Snowmobile Safety Week and we're talking to Lisa Stackhouse now who's a relatively new snowmobiler but she is of the Ontario Federation Snowmobile Clubs if you could communicate one message this week what is it well snowmobile safety is all about personal responsibility and we really encourage riders to make smart choices and use common sense while on the trails uh, across the province, we have over 30,000 kilometers, kilometers of trail that exist in a natural environment, which is unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, we really encourage people to be aware of that and, and ride within their limitations. Excellent. So we'll be talking a little bit more about this throughout the show. Uh, more safety tips. And by the way, as you're stepping out, temperatures are sitting at about minus 17 here in the Barrie area, minus 13. And I got to say, I love this pink helmet. Maybe I'll put one on later into the show, Nicole. Well, it's all about the outfit, isn't it? Kasha, thanks so much. We'll check in with her again. <laughs> You're watching the Weather Network on this frigid Thursday morning, though you wouldn't know it. We're having a great time here and we're keeping warm snowmobiling here in, well, just north of Barrie in Snow Valley, Ontario. Kasha Badurka with you here alongside Lisa Stackhouse, who's been snowmobiling only for a couple years now. Love the pink helmet. And by the way, we're doing an activity, a sport that close to or over 600,000 Canadians in enjoy every year and there's a misconception that you're really cold out here there's clubhouses like the one behind us that keep people warm they're along the 30,000 kilometer trails across Ontario hey we can keep going eh, sister um, <laughs> and temperatures I got to get into that story as well temperatures are sitting at about minus 17 here closer to the city of Toronto minus 8 back to you inside Thanks so much, Kasha. A beautiful city, right. a beautiful forecast with the sun at least. And let's go now to Kasha Badurka, who, oh, you're not on the snowmobile right now. Hey. No. <laughs> 
I'm not. We're still talking snowmobiling, but I know somebody who is on her snowmobile. This is Lisa Stackhouse and her son, Grayson. Great family activity, of course. And we come to you on this week. It's Snowmobile Safety Week, by the way. And Lisa, you are with the OFSC. Um, we're, we'll be talking about safety tips throughout the show. But, you know, I imagine it's not very common for the female demographic, but that it shouldn't be this way. Well, it's becoming more and more uh, popular among all genders and ages. Uh, snowmobiling is a real family sport. There's a real sense of community. And uh, I love it. And uh, people didn't really peg me as somebody who would really enjoy the sport. And I'm excited to be part of the OFSC. That's amazing. And you know what? Coming up throughout the show, we're going to be talking about how you could give it a try also for free coming up on Family Day. Okay, we're going to send it back to you inside, Nicole and Chris. Thank you, Cash. Uh, a little Imagine bit of snow coming to northern Ontario. Kicking off this morning in an extreme way. Kasia Badurka with you here with Lisa beside me, well, driving me here. We are snowmobiling up north. We're not too far from Barrie where temperatures are sitting at about minus 17, but I would never know it. I'm nice and warm here on the trails. Whoa. Awkward, isn't it? <laughs> All right. We are talking about snowmobiling safety here uh, because, of course, it is International Snowmobile Safety Week. So we've got that throughout the show. Uh, but in the meantime, Lisa, how about you take us away on the trail? We're going to send it back to you inside while I go have some fun. Woohoo! I love my job. <laughs> okay. I'm jealous. She's having fun out there. We're inside. I gotta admit, I feel really cool here with this helmet. We've been doing some snowmobiling earlier this morning and into the afternoon, and temperatures are actually heating up, so I'm not as cool as I was earlier this morning. Now we're having a great time. It is International Snowmobile Safety Week, and we've got Lisa Stackhouse here. What would the OFSC want to communicate on this week? Well, I think uh, rider safety is all about using common sense and making smart choices, know the law and the rules. Um, obey them and also recognize you're in an uncontrolled environment and anything can happen. It's very unpredictable and Mother Nature is in charge on the trails. Mother Nature is in charge. All right. Are you enjoying yourself? No, he's very shy. He turns his head. <laughs> but he I'm does sure. love it. He's, he's just camera shy. shy. Yeah, awesome. All right, we're going to send it to you inside with the weather story. <laughs> Kicking off this morning in an extreme way. Kasia Badurka with you here with Lisa beside me, well, driving me here. We are snowmobiling. And you gotta wonder if they were snowmobiling in Texas last night with 25 centimeters of snow in the north. You know, they're used to seeing strange things in the sky in New Mexico, including thunder snow. Nathan Coleman, Ooh, he's got a busy schedule ahead. That's right. Backing not one. Not two, but three storm systems making their way just to Atlantic Canada. Watch us on the morning show weekdays at 5.30 a.m. Eastern. See you tomorrow.